Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Crystal, if you are new, and if you are coming back, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for being here. So today I'm going to be doing a really quick and easy, very effortless makeup look. I want this to be easy, I want it to be fast, I want it to be good for um, if you're just on the go and you don't have a lot of time to do your makeup, or if you are just a beginner and you don't wear a lot of makeup but you still want to look put together and awake and refreshed. We are not going to be using any foundation today, so that's a plus because I know that if you are just beginning, foundation can sometimes be a little overwhelming or um, it's just sometimes it takes a while to blend so it does take longer typically when I do this makeup look it takes me less than 10 minutes to do um, today it'll take me a little bit longer only because I'm gonna be explaining everything so if you want to see how I get my easy natural effortless makeup then just keep on watching all right so I'm coming at you guys fresh faced I don't have anything on my skin except for primer so you'll want to be sure that your skin is prepped it's moisturized um, prime so I do use primer. I used the um, the Morphe primer. This is the Revitalizer. Um, so this is good for moisture, but it also still gives a really smooth canvas. If you are not someone who wears primer, then you can absolutely skip that step. But I just, for my skin type, I love using primer because I feel like it just creates a really smooth base. And for this makeup look, we're not going to be using any foundation. So you're really not going to get a ton of coverage like you normally would with a foundation so you want to be sure that your skin is prepped all right so the first thing that we are going to be going in with is the bare minerals complexion rescue this is basically a tinted moisturizer and I'm in the shade dune 7.5 and then what I'm also going to be doing is I'm going to be mixing in a little dab of this Mac strobe cream and this is in the shade gold light so the reason why I add the um, strobe cream in with the tinted moisturizer is because I I just want to give my skin a little bit more luminosity and this strobe cream really really gives my skin a really nice glow um, but it's a very natural glow I actually really love using this product on its own when I'm not wearing any makeup so um, if you're looking for something to just put on your skin to give your skin a really healthy glow when you're not wearing makeup this is a really good product for that too All right, so I'm gonna be using about that much of each product you'll want to be sure that your hands are clean because you are going to be using your hands for a portion of this makeup um, so you'll want to be sure that you're you clean your hands because you don't want to be putting those germs all over your face So you're just gonna rub these together like this and then you're just gonna want to start I probably actually used a little too much I don't even need that much and you're just gonna start massaging this into your skin like a moisturizer pretty much You want to kind of bring it down your neck as well so now that you have that all on your face and you look crazy <laughs> you're gonna grab um, just like a regular blending brush or a foundation brush um, this is my favorite it's the real techniques sculpting brush um, and you'll just want to blend it in Now I really love this product. Um, now it's not gonna give you a ton of coverage. Um, so if you are someone who really, really needs a lot of coverage, then for this step, then just go ahead and use a foundation. But um, I really like this product because it still brings moisture to my skin. But most importantly, it brings the color back into my skin without me having to use a foundation which is a bit heavier on my skin. All right, so now that is all blended in. Um, I mainly used my hands, but I do like using this brush just to kind of smooth everything out. Um, you don't have to use a brush if you don't want to, but um, I just think it gives like a really smooth finish, so I like using a foundation brush at the very end. So as you can see, you can still see like my skin peeking through um, because this is a tinted moisturizer. It's not gonna provide a lot of coverage but I really love it because it just makes my skin look very dewy and luminous and fresh and it most importantly it doesn't make it look like I'm wearing makeup okay so the next thing I'm gonna do is go in with a little bit of concealer um, typically I would go in and just like kind of pack the concealer on underneath my eyes but because I want this look to be more natural I'm actually going to put the concealer on my hand and just dab it in with my fingers so I'm gonna be going in with the Maybelline instant age rewind concealer this is my favorite drugstore concealer so if you were looking for one from the drugstore 
this one is really good. Um, I'm using two shades because this one um, is actually like my skin tone <laughs> and this one is just a little bit lighter. I do want to brighten my under eyes just a little bit so that's why I'm mixing in this lighter shade with um, the one that is my skin tone. So I just got some on my hand just like that and I'm just going to go in with my finger and dab it on. I just want a really thin layer. I don't want it to be super um, heavy or thick. So using your finger is a really good trick if you're wanting to thin out your concealer and you don't want it to look super heavy underneath your eyes. So as you can see the difference between this side and this side, my dark circle is still pretty covered up, but you can still sort of see my skin underneath it a little bit, and that's what we want. We want it to cover a little bit and brighten, but we don't want it to look like we're wearing makeup. I am gonna put some on my eyelids as well, just because my eyelids, as you can see, um, have a lot of pigmentation, and so I do wanna cover that up because I want my eyes to be a little bit brighter. All right, so I'm not gonna be using a ton of powder on my face, but um, I do wanna use a little bit of powder underneath my eyes and on my eyelids just to set that concealer that I put down because if I don't set it with powder, it will crease. And I'm gonna go in using my Beauty Blender, my damp Beauty Blender, and I'm just gonna put that right, right here underneath my eye. Okay, so now I wanna go in and warm up the face a little bit. I'm not gonna do any kind of contouring or anything like that. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna use the Anastasia Stick Foundation. I love using this to bronze up my skin. Um, now the reason why I'm not using a powder bronzer is because for some reason I feel like powder bronzer and powder products just don't really sit well on top of a tinted moisturizer, just in my opinion. I feel like they can be really patchy and they just don't, they don't blend well over a tinted moisturizer like they would over a foundation. And I don't know why, I, I don't know if it's just because like the tinted moisturizer doesn't dry down like a foundation does and so it can get really patchy when you're trying to blend a powder over it. But either way, I just, I don't really like the way that powder finishes over a tinted moisturizer so I like to go in using a cream product. On top of that, using cream products just makes your makeup look more natural. So I'm gonna take that same brush that I use to sort of like, you know, blend in and smooth out that tinted moisturizer and I'm just gonna literally just dab a little bit on this brush. And then I'm just gonna go in and slightly bronze up the face, like that. Don't worry, we're gonna blend that in. <laughs> I'm also gonna take some and sort of put it on my forehead a little bit, and then on the side of my nose. A little bit more on my cheeks. So as you can see, that just warmed up the skin. And then if you want, you can go in and sort of just blend it in even more with your beauty blender. So because this is a quick look, we're not gonna be using eyeshadow or anything like that. I'm actually gonna use this same brush to just dust this bronzy shade all over my eyelids. And then just go in and add some of that color to your eyelids. Now for me personally, I have to have something underneath my eyes when I do my makeup, no matter what I'm doing. For me, it just finishes off the makeup look and it brings out my eyes a lot more um, than if it were blank under there. So I, I'm gonna take this Real Techniques brush. I love this brush for blending a cream, like a, a cream product underneath the eye. Um, this is the Real Techniques shading brush. <laughs> I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna literally like dab it on the bronzer. I'm gonna take a little bit on my hand so it's not like too intense. And then I'm just gonna go in and put this right underneath my eye just a little bit. All right, now we're gonna go in with a little bit of blush and I'm gonna be using another liquid product. This is the NARS Liquid Blush in the shade Dolce Vita. I'm gonna shake it up. I'm just gonna literally put like half a pump onto the back of my hand and then I'm gonna just, with my finger, mix it around and blend it on my hand like this. 
see how pigmented this this is you don't want to put this directly onto your face <laughs> um, because then you're just gonna have it's just gonna be too much so I'm just gonna blend it on my hand I know this can be a little messy but this is how to use cream blush you don't want to put it directly onto your face so you want to blend it onto your hand like that take your damp beauty sponge dip it into the beauty sponge just a little bit and then put it directly onto your face So as you can see, it just provides a really natural wash of color, and that's what we want. We don't want it to look like you're wearing blush. We want it to look like your face is just a little flushed, and it's like a natural kind of flush, you know? And then what I do is actually just take my finger and rub it in there, and I like to put a little bit on my eyelids just to bring like some color to my lids. I really like the way um, that like flush of pink looks on my eyelids. Sometimes I'll even take that blush and I'll put a little bit on my nose just to make it look like a natural like, you know, suntan. I always have a makeup wipe with me while I'm doing this because I do put a lot of cream products on my hand um, and all over my hands. So <laughs> I like to have just like a makeup wipe with me so that I can clean it off like while I go and I promise you this takes no more than 10 minutes when I'm doing it just like quickly of course it's taking a little bit longer right now because I'm explaining everything <laughs> all right I am gonna go in and fill in my brows just a little bit um, you can either use like I'm just gonna use brow powder because that's super quick for me um, or you can use like the gimme brow or the glossier um, boy brow and just run it through your brows if you already have um, full brows like I do um, or you can just go in and do your regular brow at this point however you do them so I'm gonna go in and use the Anastasia brow powder this is in the shade chocolate so I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna like mix the two like this really that's all I do for my brows like that's it I just fill in with the brow powder and I'm done now I am gonna go in and set my brows so that they don't move around and I'm just gonna use the Anastasia brow gel. But one of the last steps for my face is gonna be highlight. I'm gonna be going in using the Hourglass Ambient Strobe Lighting Powder and I'm in the shade Euphoric Strobe Light. This is not going to be like a blinding in your face highlight and that's not what we want for this look because again we want our skin to look natural we want it to look radiant and we just want to have like that little glow from within so I'm just gonna take my highlighter brush and dip it in I'm gonna run some down the center of my nose on my chin a little bit on my forehead on your entire face and I'm actually gonna take some of this and put it um, all over my eyes as well and in the tear duct so I'm just gonna messily throw this on my eyes as well as the inner corners all right so before I do my mascara I'm just gonna set my face I'm using the morphe setting spray which is the best Now for my mascara, I'm using my two Rider Dyes, the L'Oreal Lash Primer and then the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black. I'm only going to do one coat of each. I typically would do two coats of this and three or four coats of this. <laughs> Then I'm going to finish off with a little gloss. This is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in Fenty Glow. Favorite gloss of all time. All right, y'all. So this is the finished look. Minimal product, minimal tools. I only used these four brushes and my beauty blender. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. To me, this look is so perfect for every day because it's very natural, it's really fresh, it's really luminous, and you're not wearing a ton of makeup, but you still look really effortless and put together. So I love this look so much and I hope you guys did too. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. Hit the like button and the notification bell so that you never miss my videos. And again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.